So I'll take this. I think the camera is the X4 stays in here. Yeah, this looks like a tool lending library, and in effect, that's what it is. This is our applied street view camera. This is our closer range scanner. So this is one of our large platform drones. So we serve investigators who are outside of the University of Washington. Anyone who wants to use this for investigating natural disasters, we're here to serve them. These tools are for capturing these damage scenes very quickly after an event occurs. The Street View has been deployed in the immediate aftermath of Hurricane Florence and the Carolinas and Hurricane Michael. Uh, it's a six camera system. It actually tracks your location on a map. So being able to mount this to a car allows you to cover miles. And then we can put together the very common street view so you can follow the track that you drove and understand the damage. This is our long range scanner. Yeah, this guy's the big boy. We specifically use it to look at damage to structures or we look at you know, scope of a landslide and basically what this thing is doing is shooting a laser around the room. It's really able to figure out where stuff is based on how long it takes for that laser to then come back. It's a step up in the level of technology from hand tools and sketches and photos to actually being able to recreate that scene. There it is, the beast. Drones are unique because they have a bird's eye view of disasters and it's a site that we really can't get when we're on the ground. We use it for collecting photographs. We then take those photographs and we stitch them together to make high resolution three-dimensional models. We digitally archive these disaster scenes and so they can be analyzed and reanalyzed and made available to the research community, to first responders, to rescue groups. It's an opportunity to improve the science a lot quicker uh, than has been done traditionally. And then just, we have a lot of cool gadgets to do it with. <laughs> so it really empowers many people from the research community to begin doing the kind of work that they weren't able to do before simply because they didn't have access to these tools. They do now.